Episode 12 of fucking Plastic Memories. Fuck. It was great to see Sukasa and Isla acting all lovey dovey. Uh, I just dropped the F bomb because uh, my phone just kept fucking ringing and it's annoying me because now I gotta fucking start over again and my, bat my fucking battery in the camera's dying and shit. So yeah. But um, Isla and Sukasa acting all lovey dovey. Getting past that shy shit. That was, that was good. I like that. Them getting past the shyness. I thought that was sweet. I thought that was dope. I thought that was cool. But, um, yeah, man, I can tell, though, that, uh, I'm, th I'm actually thinking, I think next week's the last episode, right? I think it's gonna end with her dying. It's, it's actually been pushed too far. You know what, though? I just thought about this. I don't, I mean, I don't think it is now. I, I, I just thought about what she said to him. In this episode, I don't think so now. She said, the thing that she always whispers to everyone is that I hope you'll be reunited with your loved one. So I think she is going to die, but she's going to come back and then she's going to see something that's going to make her remember about Sukasa. Some type of way, she as a giftier is going to remember the life that she had with him and they're going to, you know, live happily ever after for the next nine years until she dies again, right? But, um... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think that's how it's going to end now. I just thought about that. I really just thought about that. Oh, man. I don't know. I actually was hoping that she was... Not hoping, like, oh, fuck, I wish it could have happened. But I'm actually... I think the series would have worked more if she were to die and not come back. You know? If she were to die and not come back and he dedicated the rest of his life to changing all of the um, retrieval departments to doing the method the way that she does it, then that would be dope because that means that her memory would constantly live on. You know, she never would be dead because that's her method. You know, that's her way of doing things and it would change the relationship between humans and gifters for the better. So that would be dope. But looking at it now, I don't think that she is going to uh, die. I think she will. She is going to be terminated, but she's going to come back with a new personality, probably a new body. Same face probably, but probably a new body and hairstyle. And, uh, well, not a new body, but a new hairstyle and all that sort of shit. Maybe a different personality from what she usually has. And uh, he's going to uh, be partnered with her again. And they're going to see how he's going to be able to handle that shit and all that shit. And uh, it's going to be weird at first, but then she's going to see something that's going to make him remember. And then, like, he's going to break down crying because he remembers the shit when he sees it. But then she's going to see it, and then she's going to have a spark of a memory and look at him and say, Sukasa. And then, like, maybe she called him his, by his last name the entire time. And then she's going to say Sukasa in that I love voice. And then he's going to be like, oh, and then it's going to end with her remembering. She's going to smile. He's going to look over and see that she's smiling. And that's how it's going to end. Probably something like that. You know? But I thought this episode was cool, though, man. They went on the dates. They went to the movies and shit. They're watching the love movie. I thought that was sweet. And everyone else was trying to push them to constantly go on dates. But that's not what I love wanted. She just kind of wanted to just be normal. You know, just do everything the way that they normally would have. And he also wanted the same shit. But he was actually brought the papers to sign for her termination. Which he did sign, you know. And they had a party for her, like a going away party sort of thing. And yeah, man, it's uh, building up to be sad. I don't know if it's going to be sad. But it is building up for it. So there's that, you know. Um, like I said, though, man, I, I really do. I really do think the series will work better if she dies in the end and stays dead, you know. As opposed to dying like on some Dragon Ball Z shit and coming back, you know. But, um, yeah, that's just what I think anyway. Let me know what you guys think about this shit, though, man. Let me know how you feel about the episode as a whole. Um, do you think she should die in the end? Because I think she should. But, you know, that's just me. Let me know, man. Vatch time, Pete.